You are welcome to Open Heavens Devotional Commentary, a guide to a close fellowship with God. I am Salam Manager Haruna, your host. We are glad to have you. Hello, good day and thank you for joining us today again. Open Heavens is written by our Father and the Lord, Pastor E. A. Adeboe, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. And this commentary intends to bring insights to God's Word by the help of the Holy Spirit. Today's date is Friday, the 7th day of October 2022, and our topic for today is Exposing Demonic Operations, Part 6. Let us pray. Our Lord and our Father, the everlasting King, our God who reigns supreme in all the universe, of the greatness of your power, might and majesty, you have no equal. We worship you who is deserving of all our praise. We say take all glory, take all honor, receive our adoration today in Jesus' name. We thank you for your word that has come to us so far in this series. We ask that as we study this concluding part today, you'd perfect that which you have started in our lives. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Praise God. You're welcome back. Our memory verse for today is from the book of James chapter 4 verse 7. James 4 verse 7 reads, Submit yourselves therefore to God. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. James chapter 4 verse 7. And our text for today is from the book of Luke chapter 11 from verse 21 to 26. Luke 11 verse 21 to 26 reads, When a strong man armed keepeth his palace, his goods are in peace. But when he is stronger than he shall come upon him, and overcome him, he taketh from him all his armor, wherein he trusted, and divided his spoils. He that is not with me is against me, and he that gathereth not with me scattereth. When the unclean spirit is gone out of a man, he walketh through dry places, seeking rest, and finding none, he saith, I will return unto my house whence I came out. And when he cometh, he findeth it swept and garnished. Then goeth he, and taketh to him seven other spirits more wicked than himself, and they enter in and dwell there. And the last state of that man is worse than the first. Luke chapter 11 verse 21 to 26. God bless the reading of his word to us today in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. Our topic for today once more is Exposing Demonic Operations, Part 6. And in the body of our devotional today, we are told by our Father in the Lord that no matter how terrible the demons that possess a person are, the fellow can be free in an instant by the power in the name of Jesus. However, anyone who is delivered of a demon will still be constantly checked on by that demon. The moment the demon sees that the fellow is not filled with the Holy Ghost, he will come with seven demons worse than himself to repossess the person. The state of the victim would then be worse than he or she was during the initial possession. Failure to constantly study the word and fellowship with the Holy Spirit will open the person to be possessed and repossessed by demons. A word is enough for the wise. Beloved, it is better to avoid being possessed than to be possessed and then delivered. When you get injured, the injury may heal, but the scar will remain. The madman of Gadara became free from demons after he met Jesus, but the scars on his body remained. His reputation as the fellow who had been demon-possessed remained. All the years he spent in the cave could not be restored. You must therefore stay away from anything that can cause demons to possess you. Luke chapter 4 verse 41 reads, And devils also came out of many, crying out and saying, Thou art Christ, the Son of God. And he rebuking them, suffered them not to speak, for they knew that he was Christ. In Mark chapter 9 verse 20, Luke chapter 4 verse 41, and similar passages, demons recognized Jesus and were terrified of him. Philippians chapter 2 verse 9 to 11 says that every knee should bow before him and every tongue should confess that he is the Lord. Jesus is the stronger man he talked about in Luke chapter 11 verse 22. It reads, But when he is stronger than he shall come upon him and overcome him, he taketh from him all his armor wherein he trusted 
and divided his spoils. Only through the power of the stronger man can a demon-possessed person be delivered. Jesus lives inside his children, and greater is he that dwells in us than he that is in the world. 1 John chapter 4 verse 4 When demons see someone in whom Christ lives, they bow. Acts chapter 19 verse 15 According to the mandate given to us by Jesus in Mark chapter 16 verse 17, as believers, we are to cast out devils in his name. Any believer who is filled with the Holy Ghost can cast out demons from a demon-possessed fellow. Acts chapter 16 verse 16 to 18 Let us put that authority given to us to use. God bless his word to us today in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Our topic for today once more is Exposing Demonic Operations Part 6. This is the final and concluding part of this series. And of a truth, God has been faithful. So far we have studied about the various forms of demonic operations that we have. We learnt about oppression, depression, suppression, repression and possession. And all of this we have received mighty deliverances from. God Almighty, who is the most powerful, has liberated us from all of these forms of demonic operations. So we learn in our study today how to stay and how to remain free from these demonic operations. Our text for today explains to us the fact that no man is ever left empty. At every point in time, every man must be occupied. So we learn from that scripture that even the demon possessed, when he is delivered and does nothing about occupying the space where the demon spirits occupied in the past, the same spirit comes by to check and when it sees that its space is still vacant, it goes to restructure itself, get other more wicked demons and then come back to reoccupy. We must never forget that we mentioned there is no vacuum in the spirit. There is no void at all. It is either we are occupied with the spirit of God or the enemy looks for a way to occupy us. And that would not be our portion in the name of Jesus. It is important that we take this to heart because like we have learned in today's study, anyone who is careless to let the enemy retake his territory would always end up worse than he was. So if the Lord has delivered us from the enemy's manipulations and wickedness, we must ensure to sustain that victory by making sure that there is no ground for the enemy to return to. Praise the Lord. So it is possible to be free from demonic operations. However, we also learn that it is very important that we never let the enemy even have the space in the first place. All that the enemy needs is just a foothold and before long, he would make more room for himself. We learn in our study today that demonic operations would always leave scars on his victims the same way wounds would always leave scars even after they are healed. And it is possible to avoid these demonic operations. From our study yesterday, we understood that they get access to their victims' lives through various ways, some of which include the victims surrendering themselves willingly over to the devil or unconsciously granting the devil access through the kind of associations they keep, the kind of places they go and the kind of things that they are exposed to. This may include the kinds of music they listen to, the movies they watch, the things that we engage in. And I'm quite sure you would agree with me that today we have so much content out there that the moment we consume them would open the gates to the enemy to have free access into our lives. So we must be very mindful and in fact even choicey. We must be intentional to select the kind of things that we consume and receive the grace to do so today in Jesus' name. Praise God. Our memory verse for today from the book of James chapter 4 verse 7 tells us, Submit yourselves therefore to God, resist the devil and he will flee from you. This tells us that the devil cannot stand genuine sons of God. From our text today, we also understand that there is the stronger than he. That stronger than he can also be you. The one who would intimidate the enemy. The one whom demons would flee at his sight. Luke chapter 4 verse 41 that we read in our study today says, And devils also came out of many, crying out and saying, Thou art Christ the Son of God. Remember the seven sons of Sceva also? The man who was possessed of evil spirits said to them, Jesus I know and Paul I know. The enemy can also know you. You can have a spiritual identity that scares them. 
one that they cannot mess around with. And that is God's intention for us, that as believers would be so hot that the enemy cannot handle us, would be far above his reach. And I pray for us today in the name of Jesus that that would be our portion. We would bow our heads now and we would be praying. This is the concluding part of this series. We would be crying to God. We would say, Lord Jesus, you are the stronger man. Please, Lord, send any demon that may be inside me out today in Jesus' name. Whatever residue is left. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, let my life be so hot for any demon to handle. Let my life be an unconducive atmosphere for them to dwell around. Let them flee at the sight of me. Everywhere Jesus went, they could identify him. See, Father, I walk in continuous victory over every work and activity of demons around me in the name of Jesus. Ask the Lord also today that our lives would be filled with his spirit, that there would be absolutely no room for the enemy to occupy in our lives. Let us be filled to overflow, dripping with the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus. Ask the Lord also that from this moment on, would not only be off limits to demonic powers, would also be a terror to them, would cast them out in the name of Jesus, would set men free, they would receive their liberty. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Our dear Father, we give you thanks and we worship you. We thank you for the total liberation that you have given to us. We declare that we walk in this dominion continuously in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. We have in our Bible in one year reading plan for today to read from the book of Zechariah chapter 13 down to the book of Malachi chapter 4. Hallelujah. We want to thank you and appreciate you for joining us today again. God bless you. If you'd love to speak to someone or to receive updates like this sent to you daily, please do well to send a WhatsApp or Telegram message to plus 234 do well also to like, share, comment and subscribe on our various platforms. God bless you. As you go forth today, enjoy total victory over all forms of spiritual manipulations in Jesus' name. Our hymn for today is the hymn 2 of our Open Heavens devotional. We would be singing, Conquerors and Overcomers, Now Are We. Have a great and victorious day ahead. See you tomorrow again by God's grace. God bless you and bye for now. Conquerors and overcomers now have we Through the precious blood of Christ with victory If the Lord be for us we can never fail Nothing against his mighty power can ever prevail Conquerors are we Through the blood of Jesus God will give us victory through the blood of Jesus. Through the land for sin has slain, yet who lives and reigns again, more than conquerors are we. name of Israel's God will onward press, overcoming sin and all unrighteousness. Not to us but unto him the praise shall be, for salvation and for blood but victory. Conquerors are we, through the blood, through the blood. God will give us victory through the blood, through the blood. Through the land for sinners slain, yet who lives and reigns again, more than conquerors are we. To him that overcome it shall be given 
here to heat of mighty man a saint from heaven. Over yonder he the victor's pay I'm sharp here, and her robe of white and golden crown shall wear. Conquer us a we through the blood of Jesus. God will give us victory through the blood of Jesus. Do the land for sin and slain, yet who lives and reigns again more than all for us. I believe you enjoyed today's devotional. We'd love to hear from you. Kindly leave a comment. You can connect with us on any of our social media handles attached. God bless you. Have a great day and see you tomorrow.